Breaking news, the non-native tilapia has taken over the waterways in Florida. These creatures have the ability to take to live in a variety of environment and outcompete native species. A team of local scientists has just arrived to study these fishes and learn what makes them so good at taking over. These reporters will be looking at the internal and external anatomy to better understand the species and determine what we can do to help the environment. Let's Let's cut to the field and take a look at the action over to Ariana. Thanks, Orenthal. There is some exciting action going on behind me. These scientists are busy at work and the descriptions that I can hear are very interesting. Words such as gross, icky, slimy, smelly, and my personal favorite, mushy, have all been used. I think it's safe to say these scientists were not fully prepared for the task that they were about to take. Let's take a closer look and see what's exactly going on. They have a slime layer surrounding their body that acts like a natural antibiotic protecting them from bacteria in the water. Oh. The fins on this side are called pectoral fins and are great for maneuvering through various habitats. Check out the teeth. I'm amazed to learn the fish have teeth. This scientist has pointed out the color of the intestines, dark green, which shows that they are eating algae and plants. This means they are competing with the native herbivore species. Look at all the white stringy fat around the intestines. This was a nice, fat, healthy fish able to compete quite well in this environment. They've discovered this fish is a female. Check out all those eggs. Clearly this is a part of the reason they are able to reproduce so rapidly and take over. The balloon looking thing here is a swim bladder which lets the fish control their buoyancy and move up and down the water. I've been told this is why fish can look like it's staying in one spot when you see it in the aquarium. Pretty cool. Here we see the internal part of the gills extract from the fish. The scientists have discovered that they have four sets of gills which help them take in oxygen from the water. This fish heart is actually quite tiny as you see here and it's two chambered heart unlike our four chambered heart one. Gross. This scientist has squished open the eye to find the lens which is the little thing that looks like a glass ball. The scientists tell me that despite living in the water rather than air, the fish eyes work very similar to ours. Some very interesting things are going on here today. Back to you in the studio, Arnthal. Thanks, Ariana. Our research team has found out that tilapia were first brought over here to be grown in aquaculture for food. The reason they have invaded our waterways is due to the fish escaping from the aquaculture ponds. Hopefully, in the future, we'll be able to stop them from escaping. As for us, at home, we can help by taking any, any tilapia that we see out of the waterways, maybe even taking them home for dinner.